is up, Quo Quo. Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes The Awakening. Last time we tried to find our newspaper and then we started to do a kidnapping case for this guy. But we ran out of time after we finished it. I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> We're gonna try and figure this one out. I had to watch the very end for this last <laughs> time, so. Look at the end. Ugh. Here is where I believe we want to answer that. I have a paper. The strand proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident, Doctor, do you recall? The Port of London, of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed, we shall need to take a cab there. Is this a cab? Yep. Where to, Gav? The Port of London, please. I will show you where to stop. Chapter 2, The Blood Red Knight. Huh. Solak is afraid of water. <laughs> That's actually... Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Huh. One kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I did not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps. Before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that... Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. Dehydration set in. Things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer and placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. 
detachment of British soldiers found me. To whom I'm grateful. Without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes. But I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods. Do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimmy here? Anything about this? I think I can help you. But well, eh? It appears that the saltpeter exploded. Oh, hardly a reputable establishment. I've seen worse. It's a large harbor. If our kidnapper is hiding here, finding him won't be easy. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the mm. port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. Miss, what if I told you that you are in the family way? No, really? Oh, thank you, sir. How would I, a simple woman, have ever known without your help? You must be a doctor. In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. I would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. We must go. Oh, no. No chance of a pint, then. <laughs> Watson. Could you help me? No, sir. I never heard of it.
doctor. The man is very sick here. It sounds as though those people will need my help. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 hang on. Satisfy my curiosity. Look, sorry, I know nothing. Hello, this is Dr. Watson. So we'll take a look at your phone. Freshly dug up treasures, it seems. Everything ends up in the river. It's a good thing these people take something from it. <laughs> Water has a curious whitish tinge to it. The subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. Dilated pupils, decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? All signs point towards acute poisoning. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions yet. Anything about this? I'm sorry, sir. I can't help you. What is that? The coffin won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. May I ask you something? I can't help you with this. May I ask for your assistance? I wish I could be a belt, but I can't. Sorry. I can go to skip, but. This is about what what manner did that? Gruesome. Oh, it's been decomposing for weeks. If this were the origin of the disease, it would have started sooner than a few days ago. How can I help? Try and flag someone down. Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Dea? You read the poster? Yes. You know where my brother Girves is? Sadly, no. Well, not yet. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. Do you still have the necklace that Solsby gave to Girves? 
get a vest left it near the um shrine. I tried to sell it to buy um a medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Emma, my mother. She got sick after the hot, the fire. Big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. How would you describe this Soulsby? He was big and strong. Um, he had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes, like, uh, like it was made of metal. Don't go anywhere. I miss Gervis. Do you think he's okay? This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? of rotten food. It carries danger, but not of the kind that we witnessed. The waterway goes under the buildings. We need to find other open sections in order to continue our search. Almost no fish the last couple of days. And it's like walking, it's funny. Could you help me? No, sir, I've never heard of it. Okay, it's locked. Ma Dalton swears she saw ghosts in Warehouse 2. The coppers even went over there. I must be seen. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'll be happy to help you. So listen to me. May I ask you something? I can't help you with this. Marl Dalton swears she saw ghosts in Warehouse 2. The cop has even went over there. Don't fall in the water. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Are you able to help me? I'm sorry, sir. I can't help you. Not in the mood, mate. Shoo! Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. Oh, not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now, what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. <sighs> I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. 
She has badgered me twice now, but I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to work out how we'll remove it. Now, where was I? Have you seen this before? My card? Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I... I... No. But someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Girves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. What's this? <laughs> Sharkum's chapter one. Do we have enough of this? Probably not this. We don't know where he is, but who would duff exit him?
Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him even. Dirty Summers is the name. A nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing eye. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a Dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. We must go. Oh, no. No chance of a pint, then. This is interesting. I'm not talking much because I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm processing. Stay out much longer. I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Never out of it. I'll come back for that poison water thing. explosion stopped most traffic coming into the port. Guess I'll be without work for a while. Wonder why people are going missing. Puts a man on edge, you know. with a 
sign to the cursed mermaid. With the thought of walking in this fog. I need a little Dutch courage to walk in this fog. But I'd have to walk through the fog to get to the pub. That's just cruel, that is. Wait. I don't want that, dang it. What are you gawping at? Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting... What, what makes you say that? Uh... A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kidnappings across London. He used your name as a cover for his deeds. What? Really? That doesn't mean I'm involved, though. Your calling card, ah. Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you a suspect. You, you cannot be serious. Give me one moment. Yeah. Mr. Soulsby, you know more than you're letting on. What, what makes... I pressed it. A man named Dirty Summers was involved in some recent kid. Your calling card was found at the crime scene. That's enough to make you. Character portrait, I believe, because he's connected. It's true. And that's before mentioning your gold watch. It's brand new and awfully expensive for a customs officer. Clearly, you have found yourself another source of income. I'm sure Scotland Yard will be delighted to investigate further. All right, stop. Look, it's not as it seems. I did not partake in the kidnappings. I'm all ears, Mr. Soulsby. Yes, I know, Summers. He paid me to turn a blind eye to his business in the warehouse area. Just that, on my word. You did not tell me which warehouse he used? I do not recall, but I used red paint to mark unsupervised warehouses. Ought to be one of them. What else can you say of Summers? He is a regular at the Cursed Mermaid. Goes there with his crew almost every evening. What for? I don't know. I assumed just for a drink. Just for a drink, eh? I keep pressing the wrong button. <sighs> if we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? <laughs> Why do I have the feeling that you know more about Dirty Summers than you're letting... I have nothing more to add, sir. Hmm. Enough. I have hard evidence that Summers was involved in recent kidnappings across London. I'm not surprised. So what? A customs officer, Roy Soulsby, testified that Summers was a regular here. You must know something about his business. All I know is his drinks order. Well, if do not concern you, then I would urge you to think about your unborn child. Are you threatening me?
Nothing of the sort, but that doesn't mean that there won't be consequences for your silence. Everyone knows you happily served Summers and his crew. Should the police come knocking, you'll be the one going away. And none of us wish to see you raise a child behind bars. Now, spare yourself the trouble and tell me all you know. Okay, okay. Summers hired my private room. I think he used it to recruit people, but I haven't seen him in a few days. He paid me cash, so I paid him no attention. Nor did I touch anything inside. Here's the key, go and do what you will. Just leave me out of it. Is it this door here? Is it Willie? Five shillings. That won't go far. Strange symbols. I don't recognize them. Oh, there you are. Okay. one that would they be connected If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? I feel like Watson would have a, an opinion for that. I guess not. Okay, I thought one of them was crying, they were laughing. Is that this one? Unlikely that this warehouse has the goods. A 
recent cart crash. Phenol, a dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer, coming from spayed chemicals. The fish's scales have decolorized. What a disaster. Fish's scales have decolorized. What a disaster. If we stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Are you able to help me? Sorry, sir. I can't help you. Still wasn't, yeah, I suck it around. The sucker around at this point, okay. All right, hang on. waste. Despite looking fairly hazardous, I doubt it could cause such acute poisoning.
This pipe disposes of waste water from a factory, a possible culprit, but would likely have caused trouble a long time ago. Moving on. I can't see any other major source of contamination in this section of the waterway. Perhaps another place. I can't climb stuff. How, how do I get out? I don't think I was supposed to fall down here. Uh, is there an auto save I can load? There we go. Um, what time is it? That's odd. Let's let the safe from here. <laughs> Please do not spawn me somewhere where I can't move. Cause if you do, then I'm slightly screwed. <laughs> I would say I'm singing now. I feel tired. Alright, so we have that on off. Water from a factory. Possible culprit, but would likely have caused trouble a long time ago. Moving on. Human waste. Despite looking fairly hazardous, I doubt it could cause such acute poisoning. I can't see any other major source of contamination in this section of the waterway. Perhaps another place. Off the waterway, there's that contamination that we found. Phenol, a dangerous substance often used as a sanitizer, coming from spayed chemicals. Fish's scales have decolorized. What a disaster. All right, let's find where has number 12. It's right here, wasn't it? Nope.
Wait. Oh. Really, Holmes, this ought to be beneath you. As my brother would say, it is for the greater good. Mold. That's why you don't leave sailcloth lying out. Quality, but torn in many spots. This crank saw some use. couple of marks on this end. The scratches are fresh, left by something metallic. of rust will prevent any movement. Well oiled and well maintained. Fit for a crank. Passage, just as I expected. Do I want to go down there? Oh, let's start it, so why not?
Well, I'm about to need to end this shortly, but... Ask you a question. I think I can help you. Well, really? that, that's that. All right, guys. So that's it for this episode of Star Comes the Awakening. Next time. We'll do these two side quests and continue underground at this warehouse, alright? See you guys then.